Hey, I'm making eyeballs today. <laughs> um, let's dry out some circles first. I want to put my little stickers on. I have a couple that I just have to um, put the resin stickers on top of them that are pretty much ready to go. So, do those later. Um, those I printed out from um, Resin Rapture. Um, they didn't really come out perfect like the pupils came out really spotty on the glossy paper so I think um, when we do our shopping we're gonna have to hit an art store tomorrow so I can grab some non-glossy paper and see if they print a little better um, yeah I kind of tried to repaint them but you can tell like even the paint isn't wanting to really stick on this paper so the first pair worked out okay but I don't know every pair after that I've done on that paper is just not it's not really working so I'm gonna try and grab different kinds of photo paper and see if a, another one would work better but that's okay because I have to wait for more of the glass chips to come in still um, I have a handful of the resin ones but I think the glass ones will work better with the photo paper because the resin chips with the photo paper it's really they're really flexible <laughs> and I don't know I don't know how well they're gonna stay in the actual IMAX because they're so flexible so that's why I'm doing a few on thin card stock instead So the glass ones are a little, they're a little too thick to use with cardstock because the problem that I had with the first batch I made um, is that the mechs won't turn because the eye chips stick out too far. So the glass ones I think I have to use with like photo paper or I have sketch paper down right now that I'm going to try doodling some things on and see if that works a little better. But I think the cardstock with the resin sticker chips will be a better combination. So I'm going to do four of each of those. Oops, I still have to draw some on here. Oh, nice. What are you making? Like that perhaps
Okay. Alright, I want to do these. Um, I want to do Lenore's eyes with these ones. Because I want to use my fine liner pens. Do the little circles. And I don't know that the fine liners are going to work on the cardstock. Oh my gosh, I bought a bunch of those. I made um I made little spooky babies with them. The little cupy ones. just a little pupil and then my hand and my phone are in the way that's a new one for me <laughs> oh my gosh yes put them on glasses that would be amazing Properly. <gasps> did I just smear it? Oh my gosh, I did. Okay. I've gotten used to using the Sharpie S gel pens, and those don't those dry really fast, so they don't smear. The microns do not dry as quickly and they're just wanting to smear on this glass eye chip. Which I have now thrown across the floor. Let me actually try using this instead. I feel like there's not really a noticeable difference visibly between the Sharpie S gel and the Microns, but the Sharpie ones are cheaper, and I think they actually work a little better. Yeah, I haven't really used my Microns heavily since I left school, just because I always make a mess of them. And especially now that I've figured out that the S-Gel pens exist, I kind of just want to keep using these. I don't know if they're like the fancy archival inks, but... <laughs> yeah, everything, everything ends up on the floor at some point while I'm working. Yeah. 
so I feel like that's going to work a little better. I don't know how much of the Micron is still wet though. I just want to make sure that I actually have the whole line. Okay. I might go a little farther in even. 52 pickup would be uh, it's a low estimate sometimes. If you've never dropped an open container of buttons on the floor, are you really even a crafter? I one time flipped my open case of seed beads while on carpet. That was super fun to pick up. Yeah, rhinestones too. It's awful. That's why I'm determined if I can have a craft room in this new house, like I'm I don't I don't want carpet. <laughs> I just want to be able to sweep if I drop everything. Okay. So I think that looks a little better for the pupil eye. I'm going to do the other one. Um, this, I'll probably start with the outer circle just because I think it's easier to work in than out. Oh no, a box of needles. Oh, that's terrible. Actually, I'm going to do this. So I can figure out where my outer line is going to be before I start worrying about inner lines. I think these actually dry a little darker than the microns. So these are these are my new favorite pens. I kind of just use them for everything now. Yeah. Dropping pins and needles. I usually just I I go over the area with a magnet. Otherwise, I'm going to stab myself a bunch of times. Okay. So, I'm going to bring that outer line in just a little bit farther. Okay, happy with where that is. I also have now, um, if I can scoot the mess on my table a little bit so I can reach it. <laughs> One of these. It's a, oh, oh no. Oh, my wonky camera. Hold on, let me fix this. There we go. 
Okay, so I got one of these magnetic pin cushion and I don't drop them anymore. <laughs> so that's been very helpful. It's not perfectly even because that's kind of the style. It's just a little sketchy looking. Um, okay. So when I resin over them, they will look like that. But I'm not going to because these are my last pairs until the next set of glass chips ships. So I'm going to hang on to those so I can keep tracing them. And I'm just going to put a really, really, really thin layer over just to seal later. So I think I'm going to do a purple one next. With some stickers. I have a couple of sets of stickers that I bought. Um, these ones came from Amazon and these ones came from AliExpress. Um, maybe I'll do little ghosts. Of like several sets of this one. I've used a few of these already. And this doll's eyelids. Put one of those. A little Grim Reaper. And then her first set of chips has this same purple cardstock and some stickers from this pack. Some little ghosties, some little bats and skeletons. Yeah, see, there's another duplicate of that one, which is fine because this one has a lot of, I don't want to say generic, but I mean, they kind of are more generic designs that fit with different styles, so I use those ones more. Um, these are some bright ones. Some more little ghosties. Kind of like these ghosties better, though. Some little skulls. No. Oh, some. Oops. Maybe I'll do one with those. I did order another set because obviously some of these I've picked the best stickers off of already. <laughs> so I have more coming. There's some pumpkins. Spiders could be fun. We'll keep those in the maybe pile. 
Um, more skulls. These ones have skulls with candles, which are kind of fun. Um, I don't know what these little things are meant to be, but they just, they kind of look like gummy worms to me. I feel like those would be kind of fun on, it was on a set of chips that were candy themed. And I like this little dude. I think he's too big to use for eyes or eyelids or anything like that, but he's just kind of fun. I wish these stickers were more flat because I would use that for like a tattoo on a doll. superhero skeletons. This one's cool. It's got witches and ravens and stuff, but that won't really work on the dark purple. There's another one of those that I have duplicates of. And some red ghosts. So, this is my maybe pile right now. I also have this one I really like. I haven't done any of these little pixelated Halloween ones yet. That could be fun. Mm, I don't know about these. It's like vintage style. Some more kind of vintagey ghosts. Nightmare Before Christmas. Owls. I do kind of like these ghosts. I might use those at some point, but I don't think I'm going to do those today. Um, vampire fangs. Faces. These would be kind of fun on some orange eyes. So maybe I'll paint some orange and use those. I have my paints, but I didn't grab any water to rinse my brushes. I really like these. I haven't used them yet, but these are actually the ones that made me buy the set because of the little bunny and the gas mask. It's um, kind of tattoo-y style ones. These ones I used a bunch of. They had like cupcakes and stuff. So I ordered another pack of these too because I wanted another page of the cupcake ones. Um, so I think I'm going to do some of these, the little pixelated, first. On the purple. I used this purple before and some of those cupcake and candy stickers for these eye chips. So I'm going to do some more with these because I think this purple worked really well. But it was too thick with the glass, so I'm going to use the resin stickers on top instead. Um, I like the little axes, but I think those would work better on a black background. So, I'm going to do a Frankenstein. Um, what will I put with him? I'm going to put a little pumpkin with him, I think. And then one of these little skulls and then on the other side I think I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do the coffin with I don't know let me just do one 
and see how I even like it before I worry about the, the next one. Oh, he's a little bigger than I thought he would be on the eye, so it's kind of hard to see. This camera doesn't zoom. Um, let me see if I can bring it closer there. So it's a little hard to see the outline of the circle, but he really comes right up to the edge there. Might have to pick some smaller things to go with him. Maybe a moon instead of the pumpkin. Put a little moon right here. And then a skull. I wonder if there's a lightning bolt in any of these, because that would be kind of fun for Frankenstein. Let's see. Oh, I do have these little hearts with a... Um, can I focus? There we go. With a little heartbeat in them. If I can't find a lightning bolt, that could be kind of fun for Frankenstein. No lightning bolt. I feel like I have everything else. I got like little starbursts. Yeah, no lightning bolts. So let me try that little heart. I think they're all the same size, so I don't think it matters. These are really tiny, though. Oh, I put a line in it with my fingernail. Oops. I think the resin chip will cover that though. Okay. I can fit the skull, so let me try that. Okay, I kind of like that. It's simple, but I think it works. I don't want to get... Oh, my face cam's broken now. I don't know what's up with my cameras. There we go. Is this one still working? Okay, we're good. All right, now I, do I want to do the exact same thing for the pair, or do I want to do a mismatched pair? Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a matching one.
you just want to smooth these down as much as possible. Grab another one of these hearts. not quite in the same place. Let's see if I can just nudge it. Ah, too far. My stickers are so small. You can't really peel them up without ruining them. So I think I'm going to have to grab another one and just take this one off completely because I got it in the wrong spot. <laughs> now it's just stuck to my finger. Oh well. Let's try this again. Luckily they gave me lots of those. Okay, close enough. I don't want to ruin another one, so let's just stick that down. It says I'm dropping a bunch of frames, but I'm not really running anything in the background. Other than the music. Yeah, I mean it looks okay on Twitch, so I'm not worried about it. I don't think that thing's ever totally accurate. <laughs> Take another little skull. Okay. Now for these gonna take the little resin stickers and unfortunately I messed one of these up because I put it on on one of these that I repainted the pupil before the pupil was fully dry I'm so mad at myself that I did that it was straight up impatience like I could see that it wasn't fully dry and I just I chose not to wait for it just press this down really well Okay, so that's what those look like now, and I'm just going to scissors. Just going to cut these out. I'm going to cut them off the paper first. 
so you just cut as close to the resin sticker as you can without actually cutting the resin. Okay, there's one. There's two. That's one pair done. I can't get the lighting in here. It's terrible. So there's those. And they're pretty well stuck on there. They're not going to come off unless you really try to pull them off. And they're, oops, not as flexible as the other ones because they're on cardstock. So that was a good idea because now they're sturdier. Um, but I want to try and do one with resin because I really want to see if I can. <laughs> Even though I kind of failed at it with all of my previous attempts. I'm just going to try. I'm going to keep trying until I get it. I bought two different kinds of resin and neither of them are really great and I'm wondering how much of it is my lack of skill and how much of it is that the resin isn't good. I mean they just look like every other bottle of resin that I saw for sale so They weren't expensive, but they weren't like super cheap either. I kind of went middle of the road. Okay. So I'm gonna pick some more to do on here and I'm gonna do them with resin. And I'm gonna use my tiny light again because honestly, I think my tiny light actually works better. I bought, I bought this thing on Amazon and honestly I'm gonna send it back because every pair of eyes that I tried to make in it were so sticky and just absolutely refused to cure and I got like four or five pairs to cure under this itty bitty little USB light so I think I probably got lucky with this tiny one and I need to invest in a better quality light if I'm going to be doing this regularly because the one I got on Amazon was for sale for ten dollars and I think it just is a cheap piece of junk unfortunately but because these stickers are thicker like you can see that they have some girth to them. Um, you can't just put the adhesive lenses over them. So if I'm going to use these, I pretty much have to use resin. some with the little cutie ghosts.
Let's see, what else do I want to put with them? I think I want to do some little hearts. I think maybe hearts and bats. You breaking stuff? Almost. <laughs> Almost took out a light. Oh. Okay, so these ones are going to be not perfect again, but that's okay. I don't think anybody's eyeballs are exactly symmetrical. here. Oh, no, nope, that's too close to the ghosts. Let's move you a little higher. There we go. I'm going to do one of the white ones too before I put things under resin. I'm going to do one with some spider webs and spiders. But I have smaller spiders somewhere. I like this little spider. It looks happy. I wonder if I have more of those. Nope. Got these little dudes with wonky legs. I don't think I want to use those. These are bigger webs. These might work better. And small spiders. Okay, so we're going to do that one. Just want to get these out of the way before I start putting resin on things. spiders I think better than no I like those fine we're gonna go with those I 
like these happy little spiders too, but they don't match. outside ones because I think these will be easier to get under the light. I'm going to put them slightly off center so I can put a spider right here. itself down before I was ready. All right, I'm going to see if I can get one of these little dudes off without without tearing it, but they're really small. Come on, little buddy. There we go. Okay. And put him. Mm, I think it actually looks better without the spider. No, just because I went to the trouble of pulling one off. Now I gotta put it back. I think some of the legs got damaged. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave those as is. Forgot. I only have so many USB ports on this computer. So here's my little light. I think this one is better because I feel like it's brighter than the other one, even though the other one has more actual lights on it. Which kind of makes me angry because I paid $4 for the small one from Wish.com. And I paid a lot more than $4. Paid twice as much for this one. And it's not as bright. It's not. Looking at it, I can tell. So, I think I'm going to send this one back. And just save up and get one of the really good ones. Because I like the $4 one, it's just that it's coming apart. So I don't know how long it's going to last. But I'm going to put this over here really quick so I can get my resin out and do this.
<laughs> try and get my little microphone to stay down because otherwise <laughs> otherwise it mutes me and this is already awkward enough to try and talk through but I'm about to have resin right in front of my face So I got this little doodad to help me spread the resin. Just going to put one drop at a time because I want it on here really, really thin. I just want it to even out the surface so that I can put a little sticker on top. I'm just going to push this out to the sides. Oh no, it's cloudy. I think that means that it's starting to cure. So i got to hurry up and get this spread so I can get it under the lamp. I'll try and get the stuff that was cloudy outside the circle so that it won't be contaminated. I need to remember next time to cover it as soon as I take the thing off. I'm going to put this one under here while I do one of the white ones. So, that's going to sit there. Trying to get a look at the time on my screen on OBS so I know where I'm at. I want to let it sit for about a minute. I'm going to do this one over here. The cap on. Do the same thing. I'm off screen a little bit, but I'm trying to keep it as far away from that UV light as I can because it cures really, really quickly. And I want to get it smoothed all the way around before I before it starts turning goopy. be okay to move at this point. So it doesn't quite look solid so I'm going to try and avoid touching it while I put the resin on the other one. So I think it needs to sit the full two minutes. I put too much on the second eye. Oh no. That's okay. I'm gonna just scrape it away. The idea here is just to get them flat because these are 3D stickers, so they have, you know, a bit of height to them, and I just want to get rid of that so that I can put the sticker chips on top. So, yeah, it's fairly solid, but it didn't come out a nice color. I'm not sure why. Um, 
Hmm. Let me try my other resin. I don't know if that one just got contaminated with something. drop of this one because it's a little it's not as liquidy it's not going to be as easy to spread although it is staying much clearer so I think that other one just somehow got contaminated with something maybe I don't know how Hey Casey, doing more science experiments today. <laughs> I'm going to try and gonna hold this up because these are pushing my glasses off of my face. <laughs> All right. So. Now that I got a nice flat surface under there, these are going to adhere a lot better. And then I'm going to stick them back under the light to cure with the resin stickers on top. Definitely a noticeable difference. Um, yeah, so the resin from that first bottle comes out a lot more cloudy and kind of yellowish after it cures. This one's a lot clearer. I like that one better. I don't even want to use an eye chip for this first one because it's just so icky. So I'm going to make another one next to it with the good resin instead. If I can get another of these spider webs to come off. So these resins were the same price. They were just from different sellers. I don't know why one is clearly a better quality than the other. Ah, damn it. This is, this is just not wanting to cooperate. I'm going to get it though. Don't you roll up on the edge. Don't you do it. Unroll that edge. Ah, I just stuck my finger in these semi-cured resin. <laughs> Yuck. I did, I did grab gloves to put on and everything. I was going to do everything by the book today and I totally forgot they're sitting right next to me. Alright. So, I feel like spider webs are pretty much equally centered on there. I wanted them a little off center, so I think they're both 
kind of in the same place, which is what matters. So I'm going to put a glob of the good resin on there. even I feel like that almost might have been too much so I'm going to take a little bit off okay it's pretty even now so No, these ones still didn't really stick down. I was sure that was going to work. They're just, they're coming right up. I wonder if I have to leave the resin underneath a little stickier. Get nice and even. I wonder if it's because I used the yucky resin on the bottom layer of these. Yeah, because it's peeling right off. I bet that's what it is. It's coming off of the cardstock. It's alright. I'll fix it back down. Okay. Yep. So one thing I'm not a big fan of with this little bitty light, even though it does seem to work better than the big light, <laughs> it's really unstable. It doesn't like to stand up and it gets really hot. Okay. So. I actually think rather than putting the resin stickers on top of these, I'm just going to put another layer of resin. I thought this would be more fun to watch, but now I realize it's really just me in an apocalypse mask smearing goop onto paper. this. 
these ones too, but I need card sack to put underneath. Maybe I'll just put a napkin underneath. For my next science experiment, what happens when you put resin on sketch paper? so many bubbles in this one. If I can just drag the bubbles to the outside where I can just cut them off, <laughs> then it won't matter. Come on, bubbles. There. I thought I screwed it on and I did not. Hey, cool, thanks. I've never been hosted on Twitch before. This is even going to do anything if I try to cure these. <laughs> this is purely science experiment at this point. <laughs> yeah, I don't have anyone in my network yet to host. <laughs> Otherwise, I probably would have figured it out by now. Oh, geez. This is what I get for using... 14 by 17 sketch paper. Now I gotta try and get it up close enough to use with the short little cord on my UV light. There we go. Okay. So, they're still not totally curing. I definitely need a better UV light. Like, that's, that's a given. But, I think at least the purple ones are now usable because they're not they're not lifting off the card anymore so I think if I stick them under the sun <laughs> if we ever get sun again they'll finish curing and be good but man I can't I can't get over how much of a difference there is between those resins one is so clear and that one is so not. It's yucky. I think I'm not going to use that one anymore. That is this one. So anybody buying your resin on Wish.com, don't buy this one. It's got like weird black streaks in it. And it comes out yellow after it cures. This is the good one. This is the one that's working really well. And it's not as liquidy as the other one too, which is also a bonus. Yeah, I'm definitely going to buy a really good UV light though. Because nothing is fully curing under either of the two lights that I have. I just need it to cure enough that I can take this off. And then I'll just do something else for the rest of my stream. Since this is not going as planned. I guess I can touch up the pupils on these so I can put the stickers on.
while I wait with these under my light. can't really see because this is pushing my glasses up. <laughs> okay. I want to get prescription safety glasses that will work with a respirator, but I don't think I can. I feel like that's not really a thing. I was just about to blow on my paint. <laughs> I still haven't figured out that you can't blow on things while you have a respirator on your face. Alright, these have been under the light for like five minutes, and they're still kind of tacky. So at this point, I think I'm just going to say that this is not a good enough light to cure anything, even though it's really hot right now. I think it's just not bright enough. Let me see if I can smell it. How do I open this again? Hang on. Alright, I can't smell it, so I think we're good. So much better. Okay. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with how these ones came out. Even though I used the yucky resin on the bottom, I think putting the nicer resin on top actually cleared up some of the cloudiness. So. I just need to get them to finish curing underneath the little stickers. And then, oh, there's a little bubble in one of the spider webs. But other than that, those came out really well. And not this one. That one's yuck. <laughs> We're going to pretend that one doesn't exist. I just realized I used two different spider webs on these two, but I think it's okay. It's probably okay. That's why they looked like they weren't totally matching. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I should have used this one. Oh well. Lenore's eyes came out with lots of bubbles and they turned gray so I think the answer to the question of what happens when you put resin on sketch paper is <laughs> it makes the paper wet <laughs> that didn't quite work um, so I think I can still use sketch paper probably to like draw the eyes out if I'm going to use stickers but not if I have to put resin on it good to know but I have 
these that were printed on a piece of photo paper. Um, my printer didn't really print nicely on the glossy photo paper, so I had to repaint the pupils. But I already did a pair of these, so I know that they do work. Because um, I did these. If I can pick the other one up. There we go. So, I've got those. Um, the only downside is because they were on photo paper with a thin resin sticker, they're really flexible. So I'm not sure how well they're going to stay in the iMac. Um, but I think I'm going to put them in and try and figure that out. And I did figure out that putting the stickers on top of cardstock makes them sturdy enough. So I think instead of buying more photo paper, I'm going to buy cardstock that has like a a semi-gloss pearl kind of finish and see if that looks good for the eyes instead of just getting less glossy photo paper but yeah the cardstock still comes out really nice I wonder I might put one in the iMac before I put the stickers on these I was trying to decide if I wanted to do resin or stickers, but since my resin isn't fully curing, um, I need to get a better light for my resin before I do any more of that, because otherwise I'm just going to have a bunch of sticky things around that I can't touch. <laughs> um, so I'm going to open, open her up, take the Mac out, and put her eye chips in. So this is a doll I made for Rhonda. Here's the back of her head. And here's her face. That's okay. I'm just talking to myself here. So I do have these chips in that I made with the glass lenses on the cardstock, but I think like it came out it came out too thick because um, I did another doll the same way with the glass lenses on top of the cardstock and one of the chips won't turn because it sticks out too far in the Mac and it gets hung up on the bottom here so oh thank you yeah since I'm making her for Rhonda and Rhonda is really into trying out all the makeup looks right now I thought I would give her a fun colorful makeup look so that was definitely a challenge doing it on a face this small, but it was fun. I think it came out really well. Oh, and it's... Can you see all the glitter in there? I know you love your glitter. <laughs> and then those are her eyelids. So I'm going to... Actually, I don't want to take the eye neck out because I'm afraid that I'm going to scratch the lids. So I'm just going to decide which position I want these eyes to go in. Because um, I'm going to do two pairs of the chips that are like this with the stickers, and then two pair that are these bluish purple, and then these kind of pinky with rainbows in them. So... have to decide which eyes I want in which direction. I think I think I'm going to put these ones facing forward because they have so many colors in them. I don't want them to get lost if the eyes are turned sideways. So I'm going to put these ones in the side glancing eyes. Just see how well, well, you know what, let me put them in this way. I 
I think I'm going to put, oops, I'm going to put the colorful side in and kind of down. That's actually in there pretty well. I don't think that's going to fall out. So I think I may put the stickers on the other pair too. So here's one. Okay. So there's one pair of eyes in there. And I need to put strings on her. So I'm going to do beading strings next. Um just want to make sure this is actually going to turn because of those big chunky glass eyes. I don't know if I can get the camera in at the right angle to show where the other ones got hung up, but you can kind of see this little, the little black bar in there that's the inner eyelid. That's where the other glass ones were getting hung up. And these ones, um, there's good clearance on both sides. So I'm going to leave the glass ones in. I'm not going to take them out and try and make the holes deeper or anything crazy like that. So I put stickers on these and put these in and then she will be three out of four pairs of eyes in. Okay, I'm going to try and get this on the right, on right the first time. Now, the other ones came out looking fine, and these ones are kind of cloudy on the pupil, so I don't know. I mean, it's only from some angles, so I think I'm just not going to worry about it. I'm going to put them in, and worst case scenario, I can always pull them out later if I want to reprint the eyes. I just hate to waste the adhesive chips because... It's $12 for 10 pairs, so they're not, they're not something that I like to throw away. That's why I'm so mad that I messed the one up with the painted pupil. to decide how I'm going to orient these. I think I want the green part of the rainbow kind of on the bottom because it's the darkest. So I'm going to actually put that in so that it's on top because you want them upside down when you're looking at them so that they will be right side up when they flip around. Green on the bottom. Ah. Oh, and don't put her down on top of the sticky resin. Dang it. 
damn it. Come on, hands. Okay. So, there's the bluey eyes. And there's the pink ones with the rainbows. Oh, I really like those on her. Wow. Yeah, I may I may reprint them on different paper and see if I can't get the pupils to come out nicer so I don't have to paint them <laughs> because I feel like that really works with the eye makeup. So I'm going to do her pull string beads so that I can start putting her back together. Um, I need to steal the T-bar from my bunny doll. because this was her original face, but I messed up the face carving. So now it's a bunny. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna give her back her T-bar. I'm just gonna move this paper that has sticky resin in the corner so it's out of my way. sure it clicks right. Okay. So now the eyes won't roll around. Just trying to clear my stuff out of the way so I can actually get to my beads. girl.
So I'm going to use one of these for her. Um, I think one of these instead for her, just because it's more sparkly and colorful and will fit better with the others. I'll try and get one. Some of these aren't totally centered. Um, I think that one's probably the nicest. And the beads to go with those. And I I want to try and use ribbon for her pull strings instead of cord. So I'm gonna see what beads I have that will match with these and will fit over this. on these might be too small, but I do have a beading needle. I don't know if this, the eye on my beading needle is even big enough to put a ribbon through. Nope. <laughs> okay, so that's not going to be any help. any of these are going to fit. Maybe with finagling. But I don't think so. So, just get those. Okay. I'll be here for a while anyway. Oh no. Just 
almost lost all my seed beads. I know I was talking about that earlier. Put some cool little skulls, but I'm not gonna be able to do these with the cord or with the ribbon. I think I may have to just accept that I need to do cord if I want to use the fun beads. try cord with a different doll that I can use just to glass and not have to not worry about being colorful because I want hers to be colorful so I'm going to be able to use as many different kinds of beads as I can Especially these seed beads. I think that these little iridescent ones would be really cool on hers. And these, oh, I need to put some of these for sure. I'm making such a mess. the end of this string. I think you're probably right. That's probably a good idea. Maybe some of those. Oh, these. These would be perfect to go with the eyes and the hair. Yeah. these and these and some of these yeah and that's cool for me <laughs> he's behaving out there so far he's looking naughty squirrel is eyeballing the bird feeder again more of these left. I'm going to have to buy some more. Interesting. Okay. So, I'm going to go with the faux leather. I think I already had a string of those.
Oh, there's some other little ones. There we go. side between those two later. Oh, I think I should do the bigger one on the bottom. Just to help weigh it down. There's one. I 
think I made the wrong one shorter. No, this one should be longer. Okay. I think this is going to fit with the theme a little better. So. No, I like this one better. We're going to go with this one. Trim that later. There's not much color on that one. So we got this one needs to be for the eyelids. Okay, so this one is gonna go through that hole, through here. Squirrel in the feeder. Hey. <laughs> Did he get up there? Yeah, but he climbed out and instead of like jumping, he just rode the pole down like a fire pole. <laughs> That's different. Yeah. <laughs> Little bugger just slid down the bird feeder pole like it was a fire pole. <laughs> oh, I think he's going for it again. Shoot. Alright. Now I'm gonna open the eyes and make sure that I can't see the knot. Can't see the knot, so we're good to go. This one because it's heavier. I want to get it through the hole also. And it's going to go through here.
sure that they work. Okay, so the purple ones stick just a little bit, but they do work. And the eyes stay open when you hold it up. So, oops, there's my camera. They don't fall closed because they're weighted now by the strings. So, she can go back together. But I don't have her screws handy, so I'm just going to snap her back together and set her aside. And move on to the next one. Brush. I don't want to leave her with bed head. Okay, so whoop, there she is. Finished with her strings. I may make these a little shorter so they hang behind her back since she doesn't have long hair to hide them in. Um, but I'm going to leave them for now. And... Let's see. Okay, who's next? Um... I think I'm going to do Bunny Girl next. Um, I don't have her colors fully planned out yet, so I'm just going to kind of tentatively put something together for her. And I want to use, I need to clean it first, but I want to use this little acorn for her. Here. Oh, I need to put all of these away first. Before I go taking more stuff out. This little mushroom that I made as the end charms. So get this off of here. Um, and I haven't haven't fully planned out her colors yet, but I'm thinking I'm going to make her probably a redhead because I made her extra rosy. Um, so I'm going to pick colors that are going to work 
with that. So I think, oh, I forgot I had this little bunny. I'm gonna put this on her. Although maybe I'll hang on to this because I'm gonna give her lop ears and I could put this on as like an earring. So I'm gonna hang on to that for later. And I'm gonna find, I think, some nice greens. I think that'll go with the mushroom. Maybe some fun ones like this. one that's kind of a jady I think would look cool maybe some browns too put some browns in there to break up all the green away before they roll away. I don't think the spikes are going to work for her, so we'll put those back too. Stop rolling. Okay, so I think I think that's good, but I need one more on top of here. Another brown one. I 
think it's this that's tripping me up because they're just I think four is better so I'm just gonna do one more brown one Okay, I like that. Put some strings on. I meant to measure them out last time to figure out how long I actually made them and I totally forgot. So, let's just kind of estimate here. Out through the back and down. So let's sit about here. actually need a ring in here so I'll take that out so I can save it Okay, so there's one. It's nothing super fancy, but she's not a particularly fancy doll, so I think it fits. This one, I'm going to do the same thing and take the ring out. This one doesn't fit. I gotta find another one.
so I think those work for the bunny. A little acorn and a mushroom. I think that suits her. So I'm gonna just tie these together loosely and set them aside because I don't actually have an iMac for her yet. Um, since she was an accidental doll. <laughs> Not one I was planning, but I messed up the carving on the mouth and put giant bunny teeth in it and managed to save it. So all I have for her is a head and a back. I don't have a body or an eye neck or anything. Um, I ordered a scalp yesterday. I ordered a bald one, so I'm going to make her hair. Um, because I wanted to be able to put articulated ears into the scalp. Uh, so, yeah, I'm gonna make some articulated ears at some point for her. Um, I'll probably do that on a stream, because that would be kind of a cool thing to show, I think. Uh, so, let's see what time is it. Oh, it's 5.30, so I think I'm actually gonna sign off. I feel like this is a good place to stop for the day. I have enough of a mess on my table to clean up now. <laughs> um, let's see. So I'm going to do my scary game stream again on Thursday. I'm going to try and finish Layers of Fear. Um, but like I said last Thursday, it's kind of getting to the point in the game where there's a lot of visual distortions that happen and that kind of thing tends to give me a little bit of motion sickness so I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to get through in one go. I may have to I may have to do um, an hour of that and an hour of something else and then come back to that. So we shall see. Uh, but I have more art stuff to do on Tuesday. Um, probably just going to do some more traditional art and do some sketching in my new sketchbook. Uh, and I think that's it. So thanks for watching. Bye, Casey.